Well, I'm down here in North Carolina. I'm hunting with Dalton Lewis, um, Ethan Henson, and Aaron Scott. Uh, they've invited us down to hunt their own personal stands. We're in Ashe County, North Carolina. Uh, we are hunting over corn. It's legal here in North Carolina. Um, I'm a good 25 feet up in a tree on an old tree stand. I've belted in, but I am definitely nervous. <laughs> it's pretty high. But uh, they say they've got some deer here, so give it a shot. Something new. was good on that doe. She only went about 80 yards. I saw her drop. There's more deer in the area right now blowing at me. But we're gonna get down while it's daylight and recover this doe. Uh, but again, I wanna thank Dalton Lewis, Aaron Scott, and uh, Ethan Henson. Uh, good old Southern boys set us up on these deer. Something different hunting whitetails over bait. Never done it before. I've hunted hogs and bear over bait. Uh, but this is the first time hunting whitetails. A lot of fun. Uh, when in Rome, as they say. Now that's a good looking arrow. Let's go get the doe. All right, perfect, perfect good looking deer. You know, I got like 30, 30 years now. I'll be 46 in January, it's now October. Um, I started bow hunting when I was 15 for big game. I've been bow hunting since I was about five for squirrels and chipmunks and woodchucks and such. But uh, this never gets old. Um, different way of hunting, hunting them over bait like this, but man, <laughs> this is a lot of fun. My first uh, North Carolina whitetail. Uh, first time I've ever hunted, the first hour I've ever hunted North Carolina. Had this deer come in and uh, put a good shot on her and we're gonna put her to good use. Uh, there's a place called Joe's Processing up the street and uh, we'll bring it to him and he'll process it and donate it to uh, people in need, people that can use the venison and we're very happy to do so and um, just uh, she'll go to a good cause. Uh, I'd like to thank Dalton Lewis, Aaron Scott and uh, Ethan Henson walked me into the stand today and he, he's hunting the ridge up here in back of me. Uh, we're, we're in Ashe County between Jefferson and Boone, North Carolina. Beautiful, beautiful country. 
if you ever get a chance to come out here the the, the scenery and the mountains are absolutely beautiful this is the first night it's uh, Wednesday night and we're gonna be hunting all the way to next Monday morning so really looking forward to it great hunt These North Carolina boys said that they uh, set their stands high and asked if we were afraid to be up 25 feet. I told them I wasn't, but I was lying. They weren't. Their stands are at 25 feet. <laughs> we're in the mountains of North Carolina this evening. It's like December 11th, but it feels more like 12th. August. Okay, it's the 12th. It's more like August. It's like 60 something degrees. So we're up here sweating, but we figured we got the evening to hunt. So. We come in here and try it. There's uh, a couple good deer coming in here, actually. And uh, I'm out of buck tags, so I can't shoot. So if a buck comes in, <laughs> Ethan's gonna shoot it. Then uh, if a doe comes in, I'm gonna shoot it. So we'll sit tight and see what happens. Maybe we can uh, put something on the ground. Back in the tree where I had a real ugly miss the other night. I don't really know what happened. I think I just got excited and didn't pick a spot more or less. I guess even veterans do that now and again, but <clears throat> it's been raining all day. It started last night and it's been pouring all day, but finally caught a break in it this evening about three o'clock. So I ran in here and jumped in just to see what might show up. Um, been several does coming in again, so we'll see. shot she was straight away and she it's really windy and she started getting real nervous and um, she actually jumped off and got off camera just a little bit uh, luckily she circled and uh, actually came closer and um, I had to move the camera just a little bit to get her on it but I, I think I got it back on her at the little camera running on the back face and so we should have some good footage on that too and made an absolutely great shot um, one of those times, you know, where the air actually goes exactly where you're looking and I made sure and took my time on this one and um, the arrow went clean, clean through where that Tusker brought it. But I tell you what, getting one with traditional gear like that's a lot more of a rush than anything else. So we'll give her, some, give her a little bit of time, like uh, famous words of Dick Langer, we'll give her some time, even though I, I heard her crash not far, but we'll give her some time and uh, maybe my, my buddy's got a tracking dog a little puppy and uh, might, might get her on that trail him on that trail and see what he does so, see what happens glad to get it done well we found our deer it was a real short recovery I actually uh, heard her go down you can see Zemo still still on the track <laughs> um, dog did an excellent job the reason we brought it to get some experience uh, might need that dog sometime and a little bit of experience to get his confidence up and be good for us in the future but Real glad to get this deer. Um, I actually didn't pick up a camera until rifle season this year, and uh, it actually made things really difficult um, as far as trying to get uh, kills on film. They're really skittish, obviously, in rifle season. So, uh, let's see if we can get Zemo back here. But uh, 
you know, real tickled to get it. Um, this ridge is actually pretty special to me. Uh, when I was about six years old, Dad took me up in this old hemlock and uh, tied me to the to the tree there, where so I could hunt with him. And um, actually, the same tree I killed my uh, first deer with a bow at when I was about 10 or 11. So, real special ridge. Tickled to get it. Real tickled to get it on film. Um, gonna make great eating. Um, she's young, really very tender. So, uh, hope everything worked out and uh, glad to get her. Thanks for being with us.